secret die kit here so secret. What I'm going to explain to you over the next few minutes is how to set this up to run your central heating most efficiently and based on a standard system design. There's another video looking at how you would set the hot water. So to run your heating efficiently there are a few things you should do. Firstly you want the heat pump to be available to deliver heat whenever the room thermostat calls for it and this means that you're controlling the heating with the room thermostat not with this Daikin unit. So you need to program your room thermostat to fit into your needs, your comfort levels when you're in or out, that sort of thing. If you're on a key meter or any other type of prepayment for electricity the heat pump it'll work out cheaper to keep credit on the the meter because the heat pump works at its most efficient when it's got a, a sort of even temperature to work at so it's not as efficient when it's trying to raise from a very low temperature though it is still more cost effective than using night storage heaters or panel heaters so the second thing you want to do with this unit is you want to keep the what's called the weather compensation on. Now the weather compensation is this A in a box here and you turn it on or off with this button. What the weather compensation does is it reduces or increases the temperature of the fluid going through your radiators. This means that the radiators will be on for longer but at a lower temperature and this is more efficient in, so, the low, so you'll have a lower cost uh, by running the system this way. So basically if you're comfortable and your radiators don't get very warm then that means the system is working at its most efficient. But if you find that you can't get your house warm enough you can increase the temperature of the fluid going through the radiators and you do that by pressing this temperature button. So you press it and you get a 1. So that means the, the, the fluid is going to be 1 degree higher, 1 degree Celsius higher than the heat pump thinks it needs to be. 2 degrees, 3 degrees, 4 degrees, up to a maximum of 5 degrees. Now, what you need to be aware of is that if you put it on 5, this could cost you up to 35% more to heat your house than if you have it on zero or blank. Now you can go down in temperature as well if you find that you can run more more comfortably. The savings aren't as great as you're going down because the unit gets more efficient the lower the flow temperatures um, but certainly we advise the weather compensation to be on and if you can leave it like that then it's going to run at its most efficient. So just looking at the controller what we've got on here is the day up the top, so Tuesday, Tuesday today. We've got the time, it's 17.20 at the moment. Here we've got the symbol for whether the system's on or off, the, 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 the um, programming. We've got the clock, that means the programming's happening. Or if you press this button, the clock goes away, so the programs aren't going to run. And here we've got the weather compensation symbol which you uh, make sure is on, we advise that's on and you get it on by pressing uh, the button here with the A in the box corresponds to there. The information it's showing here is the flow temperature, the fluid flow temperature through the radiators if you don't use the weather compensation. But we always recommend that you do use the weather compensation. So what we've said is that we want to set the heating to be on permanently. So let's just see what the program is at the moment. We do that by using the timer arrows, the buttons here. So the first thing we have to do is press this button, the diamond button, to take us into the program. So you can see it's on Monday. Let's move, you, you change the days by using the timer buttons. Sorry, first the first thing they'll do is they'll change from the heating hot water symbol that's the uh, immersion heater symbol nothing nothing you need to worry about on that one uh, and that one is for quiet running at night time we'll come on to that later so this is what we want the heating 
So happy with that, press this button with a diamond again. Monday starts to flash. Let's move to Tuesday, because it's Tuesday today. Press the diamond again. And now we can look through the various times that are programmed. So heating number one is going to come on because simply because it doesn't say off here. So it's going to come on at five o'clock in the morning. Then it's going to go off at seven o'clock. It's going to come back on again because it doesn't say off here at two o'clock in the afternoon. That's going to go off at 4.30. Um, that's not what we want. We want it to be on all the time. So the simplest way to make that happen First of all, we have to press this button again. Keep finger on it for a few seconds, and then you'll see the time starting to flash. Okay, so time starting to flash. What we want to do is to... This is fine because it's on, so it's coming on at 5 in the morning. Uh, okay, if we wanted to change the time for some reason, use those arrow buttons. Press the diamond. And that takes us to the next one, so the off at 7 in the morning. What we want it to do is to stay on. We don't want it to turn off. The easiest way to do this is just to get rid of the off. So we press the A button here, and you'll see that it's now going to stay on at 7 o'clock. So 5 o'clock is going to come on. 7 o'clock is going to stay on. Press the diamond button again. It takes us to 2 o'clock in the afternoon. The system's still on. 2 o'clock in the afternoon, it's going to stay on. That's absolutely fine. Press the diamond button again. 4.30 in the afternoon, it's telling us the system's going to go off. Now we don't want that, we want it to stay on. Press the A button, system stays on. Now there's, sometimes there's a fifth one that comes up, fifth time, uh, again, want system to stay on. So what we've done now is change that program so, the, so that the heating is there, available for the room thermostat, to, for, for use as the room thermostat calls, all throughout Tuesday. Okay, so we want to confirm that. So we keep our finger on this button until it says setting. And you can see it's moved on to Wednesday. Now what you can do, you can either go through that process again and set different times for different days. And you might want to do that um, if you know you're definitely going to be out somewhere or for a few days or something. Or you can, to copy those across, what you can do is keep your finger on, you need to press these both of these buttons in for a few seconds. And it should say setting, and you see it's moved across to Thursday. Finger on them for a few seconds, and it'll do the same thing. Setting. Now to come out of this mode of programming, or to move back up a step at any stage, you press this clock button. So that's now taking us back up. Okay, so that's looked at how we um, actually change the time. I have to say this is the most user unfriendly control system that I've come across really. As I said, you can, the, the fluid flow temperatures showed up there as we were going through. Strongly advise that you leave those alone. Don't fiddle with those. Basically what we want is the weather compensation on and you can, if you need to, though it will cost you money, you can increase the temperature in the, of, of the water going through the radiators up by up to five degrees. But as I said earlier, that can add significantly to your bills.